Plenary talk number four is Dr. Khan Khanzada. He is working in the Department of uh, Civil Engineering, University of Engineering and Technology, Peshawar. And he will be talking on sustainability based innovations in construction, materials, and structures. So over to Mr. Khan Khanzada. Khan Shahzada, sorry. Professor Dr. Khan Shahzada is currently working at the Department of Civil Engineering, UET Peshawar. He has done his PhD in Structural Earthquake Engineering from the same university. His specialization is Seismic Risk Assessment of Buildings, Vulnerability Assessment of Unreinforced and Confined Masonry Buildings, Hazard Assessment, Development of Fragility Curves for Different Types of Buildings, and risk assessment of existing buildings. He has published a book on seismic risk assessment of buildings as well. Uh, Assalamu alaikum everyone. So, aap se request hai, khas kar students hai, be with me for the first five minutes of my presentation. Uske baad aap aapas mein baate kar sakte hai. Ji beta slide. So today I will be talking about sustainable materials, especially about structures. Ji beta. So, uh, before going to the next slide, uh, I am grateful to my students, Dr. Akhtar Gul, Dr. Azmatullah, Engineer Enaitullah Khan, and Engineer Khalid Khan for this work. Uh, this will be the sequence of the presentation. So we are always talking about resources, we are talking about disasters, and we are talking about sustainable materials. So on one hand, the researchers are trying to make the structure strong against the seismic forces. While on the other hand, the public is in need of affordable houses with speedy and easy construction. As a result of extensive research work for affordable and earthquake resistant structures, developments have been achieved in masonry properties, but the non-engineer construction fashion still remain a challenge. Here you can see this is non-engineer construction in progress. We are talking about the shortage of water, so we need water per covering in our buildings. So if we can reduce the requirement of this water, we can save water for our coming generation. Here you can see if we are providing 28 days covering, you can see the sheer strength capacity of the structure. And if we are providing three days covering for the structures, then 33% loss will be in the sheer strength of the structures. And if we are providing no covering, then 66% loss will be in the sheer strength of the structure. So we have a solution for this. One of the solutions for an affordable and sustainable construction is the use of mortarless masonry, which is known as dry stake masonry. This mortarless masonry is already in use in the form of dry stake block masonry. The DSBM is constructed with silk interlocking concrete or stabilized earth blocks. So we can reduce or we can save water, less water in production and require no or negligible covering. Saving in construction time is 30% less time is required. No burning of units. Thus, SEB can cut carbon dioxide emission by 89% and 84% as compared to burned clay bricks and concrete blocks respectively. Economical by more than 25% as compared to the competitive masonries. So, what we did in our UTP shower, we constructed a full scale structure from this material. So you can see on day one, we constructed this, this much, we did this much work. This is day two, this is day three. And on day four, the structure is ready for slab casting. On day six, we make the parapet walls and then the structure is ready for testing. So we have this facility and we are also providing this to you people. You can come and you can work with us uh, by using this facility. We have the large a large earthquake center. After testing, you can see some cracks 
and bulging out of these blocks. So we tested the structure. Then after testing, now we know about retrofitting, how we can retrofit the structure. So we left the slave with the help of jacking. And then you will see what we did. This is the lifting of the slave. Then we provided this position for uh, corners or for the, the confining elements. This is the repositioning of the blocks which were displaced. Here you can see the empty corner for confining elements. And this is the affixing of the steel bars for the confining elements. Now lowering of the slave and the structure is ready for testing again. After that, we tested it again. And then again, we retrofitted it with the help of Tiru cement overlay. So what we did, we made this unreal post, a dry stack masonry, then, sorry, dry a confined one, and then retrofitted with Firu cement overlay. And then we tested this for lateral loading, for earthquake loading. So these are some results here. You can see uh, the, 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 the load carrying capacity. On the y-axis, you can see the load. Uh, so the lateral, the lateral load carrying capacity is increasing tremendously. Here you can see the maximum load carrying capacity is increasing. The effective stiffness is increasing. Here you can see the ductility is increasing and the response modification factor is also increasing tremendously. So after that, we did, uh, we continued our research and we checked for the uh, acceleration or for the different zones in Pakistan. So this is for the dry stack unreal post masonry. So we can use this in zone 2B. And then this is the confined one. So we can go for the zone 3 and zone 4 as well. And the ferro cement overlay, we can also use this in all the zones, especially in zone three and zone four, which are the higher seismic zones. Coming towards the sustainability. So water at production and construction stage. So we can reduce the water requirements. And this is almost 601% water efficient. The next one is the carbon emission from kilns and cement factories. So here you can see. 400% carbon dioxide emission can be reduced. Then energy. If you remember in the previous presentation, uh, the, the, the researchers and the professors, they, they talked about energy. So how we can reduce the energy consumption. So here you will see 1900% more energy efficient. And this is the after construction. So 57% energy efficient are these buildings. Here you can see this labor productivity and cost construction. So it is three times faster than the comparative material. And like this. And coming towards the cost effectiveness. So it is 28% less, having less cost than the other masonry. You will like this slide. After that, we are having some issues in our country and but throughout the world we have terrorist attacks so what we did we made some walls from this masonry and this is a bunker and then we tested it and you will see the result of this structure after this blast loading ji aap bataye kya hua hoga ud gaya hoga ji dost jo kehte hai ki ud gaya hoga raise your hand acha देख लेते हैं देख लेते हैं आप देख के आप हैरान हो जाएंगे कि इतना स्ट्रांग मटेरियल है कि 33 किलोग्राम बारूद पे भी ये सस्टेन कर गया है 33 33 ये नजर आ गया So, this one, this one was retro, uh, strengthened with ferro cement overlay. This one was strengthened with ferro cement overlay. So, you can see that this one is tilted, this one is damaged. This one is carbon fiber reinforced polymer. So, this one is damaged. This one is safe side. And this is confined masonry. This one is safe side. Next, Karabita. Next, Karabita. Next, Karabita. Next, Karabita. Next, Karabita. Okay, coming towards conclusions and recommendations. But this one is not a slide. Hai. So as we discussed, these buildings are safe and higher seismic zones. Right? This material is a sustainable material due to its low cost, speedy construction, energy efficient, water effectiveness, and 
less carbon footprint. What are the recommendations for industry? The unconfined DSBM built with eco blocks can be used in two story buildings in low to moderate seismic regions. We have commercialized this material and the, the, the industrial partner is Eco Enterprises. They are working in Islamabad. The confined DSBM can be used in high seismic regions provided with proper confining elements as per the code of practices. The retrofitting of DSBM with pyro cement overlay is effective and can be used for retrofitting of damaged DSBM structures. Now let me talk about some research work which we have carried out on sustainable buildings in UTP shower. So this is the this is the fourth largest table of the world which we have in UTP shower, and we have tested this two story structure on this. Uh, you can see the students are here; they are watching this test. We have some uh, uh, distinguished guests, and in this video, you will see the the results of this shake table. इसकी साउंड जरा देख ले बेटा तो हियर यू कैन सी ओनली द नॉन स्ट्रक्चर एलिमेंट्स दो विच आर द पार्टीशन वॉल्स वो गिर गए थे बाकी जो स्ट्रक्चर एलिमेंट्स है अगर आप देख ले जो बीम्स है कॉलम्स है स्लेब है वो दे आर स्टिल इन स्टैंडिंग पोजीशन This was the PhD research work of Azmat Ali Shah. Now he is Dr. Azmat Ali Shah. This is another PhD research work which we did on confined masonry structure, and or after that we did the numerical modeling as well. These are some research work of MSc students on uh, hollow concrete block masonry. Thank you very much. thank you sir uh, just finishing it in time thanks a lot so we'll have just one quick question please if there is no question i can okay, have a question you. from my side so dr sir uh, very nice to know that you have been working a lot on these buildings and everything so uh, so uh, i mean you told us that you are now in the process of commercializing these materials Uh, did i get it right it has already been commercialized it has already Recently been commercialized we have commercialized another one ply ash bricks very nice very nice thank thanks you, thanks